Hey, welcome to or welcome back to Equalize Sound and I'll Repair. This is Chris back with another video today for you guys. Today I'm on a 2006 Skyon or Scion XB, however you pronounce it. Anyway, it has 2.4 and we're getting ready to replace, well, we're getting ready to do an oil change. So just wanted to show you real quick, help everybody out that possibly don't know. And it looks like this is all you're going gonna to need a six point or 12 point. 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet or a crescent ratchet wrench or a regular wrench so very easy this one's all tore up because i had to replace the alternator but if you look at this light your bumper will be here and you're gonna go straight up under and you're gonna turn around and this is your oil pan bolt here see if we can get a little better light oil pan bolt here this guy right here Yep, and then over here you have your transmission drain plug. We're not messing with that today. All we are doing is just an oil change. So, as you can see that, and you come around, straight there is your oil filter. And it should be hand tight. So, let's see if we can loosen her up. Yep, she's loosening up. Alright, since we know that's loose, we're not going to drain that yet. Let's get our 14 millimeter on there. Fourteen. That's going tight. I'm going to go left to loosen it. And I recommend you use a six point just to make sure you don't strip that bolt. And I have my pan at an angle because this pan sits sideways. So let's do the pull and snatch. Hopefully we don't spill too much. All right, I think we're back at the last thread there. And snatch. Yeah, we only got a little bit on the hand, so that's great. So we're gonna let that drain. We'll come back in a second and start unscrewing this guy. All right, give me a second. All right, so we're back. We got a steady drizzle. Let's move our plug out the way. And this engine calls for 3.9 quarts, so let's just say four quarts of oil. Let's dry her on over since she's doing her job. And start unscrewing this guy. Uh, let's get a little bit closer over here. And this is still the same spot. And this is just the undershield. I'm just reaching behind it so you guys can see it through the crack right here. But yeah, I had to remove the bumper because I replaced the alternator and I figured I'd do the oil change and show you guys while I was doing that. And you see we're at our steady drizzle. We're gonna let that drain down for a minute right there. And I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We're at a steady drip, which is great. It's time to put the plug back in. We got it right here, and this is a 14 millimeter. Let's go ahead and tighten her up. Okay, got that on there. Righty tight, lefty loosey. Just tight enough. And I got it, and just a little crank, just like that. Grab a rag, wipe that up. Looking good, looking good. And this is what that looks like where your oil filter goes in, if you don't know. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let's see if I can swing this a little more. Mm, that's where thread's on it, right there. Okay. And let's get this out the way. And let's get a new oil filter. We got, it. got it right here. That's another screwdriver. I'll use a small one. And please make sure, take this off. Some of them have the plastic on it and some of them don't, but you will damage your engine if you do not remove this plastic. So, bear with me, one hand. Let's get this off. And we're gonna lubricate that a little bit around the rim so it seals. And it's easier to come off the next time. Hopefully that's enough. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it. Just around the rim. Just like that. Wipe my hand off and let's put her back in. All right. And make sure it's on there and it should spin like this. Let's see if I can get some light on that for you. All right, so when you get it on there, it should just spin freely and then you just hand tighten it. So getting it there. Finish hand and tightening this. Let me get some, get me a rag. 
bring some of this up too. Let's finish tightening it. And that's it, pan tight. Everything underneath is done. All right, let me get my setup for up top. All we need is the oil. We got the filter on, everything on looking good. <clears throat> Be right back. All right, so if you're doing this job and you're not on ramps, please use a jack stand for safety. It is your insurance on your life. So let's get to this oil change. And if you are using ramps, chalk your wheels off in the back, especially if you're doing the oil change on the front wheel drive vehicle. Definitely want to do that. All right. All right. So since we're at the final stage and I'm done, take this cap off. I might as well lower it back down so I don't have to have it so high up. But yeah, 3.9 quarts. So let's just say four quarts. And after I do this oil change, I'm going to go ahead and put this bumper and everything back on. And this bad boy is ready for the road. All right. Get you a funnel. Make sure it's clean from debris. No debris. No debris. All right. And even though it says 3.9 quarts, always check your, depths, your dipstick after you're done because it might need a little more. All right. Let's see if we can do this a nice way. Um, all right, I'm gonna just pour it from this side. Man, I got all my lights everywhere. Move some of these guys. All right, so our filter and everything is on. This is the last of it. So if you made it this far through the video, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. It helps my channel out and it helps other people see what the content is on this channel to possibly get the same help that you may need but nobody knows everything so i just try to help and do my part all right so let's get it in and don't overfill it because you definitely will be draining some out and hopefully you don't over drain if you do but usually you can feel the weight after you can change your own oil after so so long just let that drizzle down looks like some hair just hair going inside of the oil all right and it's not mine <laughs> So we'll stop probably at two quarts. I usually can feel how much oil is going in. And definitely make sure you put in the right oil, which is, this is 530 SAE. Same thing as on the cap. You could, you know, go over the full synthetic if you want, but the car doesn't call for it, it doesn't have to. This is a very good car, very good vehicle. But yeah, this is how you change the oil on a 2006 Scion XB. And after you do this, I'm not gonna bore you with filling it up because it's gonna draw the video out too long. But yeah, after you're done filling it up, put your cap back on, check your dipstick. Rule of thumb is three dips, wipes, three dips. Well, three dips, dip, wipe, dip, wipe, dip, wipe. But yeah. 2006 Sky on SB, and this is Chris with Equalize Sound and Auto Repair. And until the next video, have a good day, and I'm out.